Hey all, today I'm going to bring you the um, video on how do you flash uh, Lineage OS 13 to the Nexus 10, the Samsung Nexus 10. Uh, ultimately, this, this tablet has been pretty good. I think um, even on the stock ROM, it seems snappy and, and, and pretty good. But of course, if you need the most latest updates, then you would need basically to flash this to Lineage OS up to Android Marshmallow, Android 6. So uh, let's get on with it. So before you start, what you need to do is to make sure that the um, you need to make sure that your you enable developer options. So what you normally need to do is just tap, and uh, now you're a developer. So when you go back, you should soon you should see developer option available. So you need to make sure that the USB debugging is enabled. This one doesn't have the uh, OEM unlocking, so so you don't need to do that. Once you have that USB debugging enabled, then we can actually go to the computer for the rest of the setup. But before I say that, make sure you back up everything in your tablet because uh, by doing this, you're going to clear off everything in the tablet itself. So let's get on with it. Okay, hi. Um, so once you have enabled USB debugging, so what you need to do next is to ensure that you have minimal ADB and fast boot installed. I mean, you can have any other ADB installed on your machine, but that, that is the simplest way of having ADB installed on your machine. So I'll leave a link down below for you to download that. Once you have that download, and once you have installed Google USB drivers, they are all set to go. So you can now plug in your tablet. So once you plug in your tablet, you can type uh, ADB devices to ensure that your device is connected. So when you tap on ADB devices, you can see now it's unauthorized. So most probably you'll need to have a pop-up in your tablet for you to authorize the um, I mean authorize the tablet to be connected to the PC. As you can see now, this is a pop-up that appears when you type ADB devices. So what you need to do is just to tap on always allow and OK. Then you can go back to the PC for the rest of the setup. Okay, so once you have set always allowed on your tablet itself, then you can do an ADB devices again. Then this time you can you should be able to see a device attached. So once you have that, now what we need to do next is to fast, reboot to fast boot so that you can start a flashing process. So you can now key in the ADB reboot bootloader to boot into fast boot mode. So when you press on that, you'll be rebooted to fast boot mode. Okay, so once you are in fast boot mode, for I mean if you are on it for the first time, then what you need to do is to do a fast boot OEM. Uh, I mean you can check on fast boot devices to ensure that it's connected. So as you can see now it's connected, but if this is the first time you are actually connected to fast boot and your device is still locked, you will need to do a fast boot OEM unlocked to unlock your uh, device. But when you do that everything in your device will get erased so please make sure you do a backup but for my case the tablet is already unlocked so i don't need to do this so the next thing you need to do is to flash recovery straight away uh, <clears throat> to the fastboot itself custom recovery the twrp recovery so it's up to you you can actually do a boot like um boot to it for a temporary uh, recovery thing but if you plan to use this device on lineage for long term then it's easier for you to just flash the recovery permanently to the tablet. So how do you do that? So you do that by fast boot, flash, recovery, TWRP, Manta, right? So you just click enter. Then it's done. So now we just go to the tablet itself for you to reboot to recovery. So once you have flashed the uh, recovery, you can just go here to select recovery mode. Then you just press on the power button for you to boot into recovery. So when you do that, the device will get booted into recovery mode. So once the device is booted, you can actually just uh, swipe to allow modification and go back to your computer for the rest of the setup. Okay, once your device is booted into uh, TWRP recovery, you, what you can do now is to detect your device. So what you do is ADB devices to see whether the device is connected. As you can see, the device is now connected. So, um, I mean, there are a few things you need to do. First thing is to uh, 
and by default MTV should be this should be there so you can actually copy it in your files and stuff via the windows but for me I normally use ADB push so because it's easier so what you need to do now is just to do a ADB push lineage slash SD card that is the normal path that you do so you just put it there and let the push complete Okay, so once you are done pushing your lineage OS ROM, so next thing you can do is to push in the uh, open GFs slash SD card and just press enter and let the push complete. Okay, so once the uh, GApps has finished transferring, uh, I mean, I like finished transferred to the uh, net tablet itself. So what we need on the PC side is done. So we will continue with the rest of the process over at the tablet side. Okay, so once we are done with the uh, transferring, so what we can do now is to wipe. So normally what I do is uh, advanced wipe. I'll wipe everything except for the internal storage. And I'll just do a wipe here. Okay, once you are done wiping, you can go back to the main screen and what you can do now is to do an install. Just go look for the, uh, these two files that you have here and you just basically click on it, add more zips and click on the second one. And what you have, once you are completed with that, you can just do a swipe to confirm, flash. And it will start to wipe the device and you just need to wait for it to finish and you are all done. Let's just wait it out. Okay, so once you are done uh, flashing everything, you can do a white Dalvik cache. Once, uh, once you have the catch, uh, cache wiped, so you can actually do a reboot system and do not install and they will be booted into Lineage OS. So as you can see now, the uh, it's actually starting up. So they are preparing apps now for the Lineage OS. So we just need to wait out the process. Okay, once your device gets booted, what you can do now is just press on Next, English United States, the time itself, um, you can set it to just in case we need to update. So I'll just move it to my time zone. 3 3, current time, it's correct, I guess. So just go next. And then you can connect to your Wi Fi or you can just skip it. And now I'll skip it because you just want to go in and This one I can check. Next, um, so just start off Lineage OS. So a very familiar looking. So this is the uh, Lineage OS, as you can see, uh, with uh, very bare minimal GApps. Lineage OS 14. So what you can do normally is to just check on the OS version. As you can see now, it's 6.0.1. Uh, Lineage OS 13. Check on the Lineage OS update to see whether there's update. So they need data. So what I can do is to connect on Wi-Fi. So let's just uh, do it. So as you can see now, it's connected to the Wi-Fi. You can go and do a check for your tablet itself again. Lineage OS update. You can do a stop here. They're checking for updates. So. Logically, this is the latest update that you have. And so there you go, you have Lineage OS running on uh, the Nexus 10 tablet itself. And for those who are interested, I do have this um, this case itself when you close it up. It's actually some sort of magnetic case. When you close it, you turn off the screen. When you turn it on, they will on the screen, right? As you can see, right? I mean, this, this, this case is pretty good for protecting the uh, Nexus 10. I got it 
pretty cheapy. I'll leave a link down below for you guys if you are interested to get one of this. So, <clears throat> so what do we have now? Okay, uh, let's just start it up again. Okay, okay. So that's all I have for today. So thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions regarding on how to flash Lineage OS to Nexus 10, you can just leave a comment down below. And I hope to see you again soon. And do subscribe if you like what the video I'm doing. There will be more coming for other devices such as Nexus Q and stuff. So that's all for today. Bye.